So like I said, I was working on display cases of different sizes. Right now, this is the largest one I've created. If I establish kind of default dimensions on different categories, then I could do different styles of displays and keeping them to a unified kind of scale would make that useful. I also wanted to see the interactions of lights. Inside of the display cases, I've got like ceiling lights and floor lights, which aren't necessarily active at the moment, but I can turn them on and you'll see what happens there. But we don't need that at the moment. But working within confined spaces like this got me thinking about light domains in the same way that you might have volume domains. Think about it in the way of we've got new volume features coming to geometry nodes. And with a lot of volume simulation tools or like smoke sims, fluid sims, etc., they tend to work within a cubic domain because if you define a resolution for that grid, it's easy to do calculations on the neighboring cells rather than something that's not kept to a grid and is instead just arbitrary. This is not exactly the same, but it got me thinking working within a confined box for lighting, which is something that we don't usually think about, gives you like almost a grid-like space where you can create lots of different lighting variations just by restricting the movement of the lights within that grid. So basically, display cases while doing this experimentation for me became this interesting idea of a lighting domain, which is similar to like the light cages I've done in Afterglow so far. And it's just the idea that restricting lighting within a physical space gives you like a set of rules which can assist with the lighting and look I mean the results are freaking great so it's just an interesting thing to think about.